Okay, in this video I want to describe how to fix a broken ratchet on a BMW E36 and this model is from a 328i, round about a 95 model, but it's a common failure and a weakness. Uh, this is a good example of BMW being able to learn something from the simple cars like the Golf 1 and so on. They never, they never seem to fail. What's happened here is that the ratchet teeth at the front end are still fully formed and from here on the place where it always gets used the teeth are totally ground away over time from the ratchet uh, they've just chosen steel which is too soft so what we need to do is we need to rebuild that I'm first going to remove this whole ratchet mechanism and then I'm going to make a template of the profile of the teeth that are still properly formed but well, then I'm going to weld up the existing one to give us material to work with and then we're going to have to hand fettle them, we're going to have to file them down again to make them the same height profile as they were originally. What we've had to do, I'm looking at the construction again, uh, the easiest way is going to be to grind off this pin and then we're going to have to bend the sheet metal open to try to get those rivets out. Okay, what I've done now is I've driven this pin over here. I've driven it down, I ground it flat and then I used a homemade drive pin out of a bolt and I've just driven that pin back. So now I should be able to open up the sheet metal. What I've done here is I've now bent it back, I've used a rather large screwdriver. Yeah, and that was a rivet part, it's one of the pivots. And then let me just get this one out. There we go. And then you can see the other rivet is still attached enough that it's not going to come loose by itself. Great, now we can see here, these are the ones that are undamaged, they're still fully formed, we're going to use those as a template, and then these are the ones that are totally ground away. We're going to have to weld it up and grind away. We don't want to weld too much, because the more we weld, the more we've got to remove. Let's see how that goes. I cannot show the welding, because obviously the camera won't handle it, but I'll show you after I put the welded bead on. Okay, the first thing we have to do is make a template of the good teeth so we know what the worn teeth must look like when we're done. I've taken some quick set putty and cut a little bit off, it's already there and mixed. Okay, so what I'm going to do is the last of the good teeth is about there. I'm going to make this, I don't want to make it too wide, I only want to make it the width of the teeth. And I'm going to press it into the teeth. Okay, I've now welded a bead where the teeth used to be. Okay, what I've done now is I've ground that flush with the side and flush with the side. And I've done my best to match the shape, the roundness of the ratchet on the outside. Also, it is all hand ground. Now, I'm bearing in mind that the idea of this video is to let you know how I did it. It requires a lot of uh, skill on your side to see if it's going to work. I don't even know if this is going to work yet, but it's the idea. Okay, what I've done is I've used my template and I've tried to approximate the positions of each of the teeth and then I can grind to that and let's see how we go. And what I've actually done now is I've taken a dribble and I've used that for my angle. I've used the existing teeth and I've moved cut cut, 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 and I've rotated it around just to get a feel, and I've worked to the markings that I made with my kokie, and I did the same thing on the other direction, so we go, cut, 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 all you can do is get it as close as you can, um, I'm sure there are people who are more skilled at me than this, but as I say, I'm just demonstrating the idea, we've yet to see if it's actually going to work, the best way to see how well we've actually done is to use the real ratchet, that's the angle that it will be sitting at. Click. Go through each of the teeth and look like it. See if it's biting. Is it biting properly? There I can see. I don't know if you can see. It's not really engaging properly. Not engaging. Looks like I need to take the tops off the previous ones. There you go. Before we start the assembly, uh, these slots are very badly worn. It just adds more play to the system. So what I've done is I've welded it up. I've filed the inside flat just to build it up a little bit so there's less play in the rivets. The next step is we need to reassemble it. Now remember, I had to bend this thing open to get this apart. 
so I probably have to be as equally heavy handed putting it together again. That's the front one in, that's the back push. Remember this isn't the main aim of the video, there will be plenty of other videos to tell you how to strip these, I'm sure. I'm just demonstrating the idea of welding up. As all the rivets were worn and very sloppy, and they were pulling out of the sheet metal actually, what I've done is I've just stick a stack of bolt and a stack of washers behind. Now that we've got that portion of the mechanism working, we need to add the ratchet and test and see if what we've done is actually going to work. If you look inside there, I'm not sure if you can see it. There's a, like a saddle on the end of the... That's the mechanism there, and I'm going to end with that saddle. Okay, we need to put the ratchet arm back in place. This piece. It's a rounded end and a sharp edge. Sharp edge is the ratchet side. The round end goes into this little saddle. Which is connected to your thumb button. Push the thumb button back until the hole becomes visible. And we drop the pin back in the hole. Now comes the test. Has the ratchet worked? Push the thumb button in. Push the thumb button in. There we go. To overcome my problem with the damaged pin, what I've elected to do is tap the end of the pin. I've, been, I've used an M3 screw. There's a 3.6 shaft, but marginal. Not on center, not in a lathe. Just hand drilled and tapped. And that'll be enough to hold this pin in place. There we go. Take that, put it in there. And put the screw in the other side. With a certain amount of difficulty. I'll tighten it shortly, but first of all. We have a working mechanism. Put it back in the car. Before you even start this project, it's important to understand that when you take on something like this, it must be your action of last resort. You must be prepared to write it off. If the project doesn't work, you go to the scrapyard and find another one.